So I just wanted a little video on the RPM limit from the Ghost RC Cobra 8 Ace. Um, so we're plugged into the EEC, and you see the top right, we're, we're plugged in. And if we go to motor, we'll see here we have the RPM limit. We All these little blue question marks will give you information about it. So what it's saying is that it's measured in electrical RPM. Um, so if you're using four pole motor and you want to select, you want the motor to stop revving at 100,000 RPM, you have to set the RPM limit at 200,000. So you, you, whatever you want the RPM, you have to double it. So or half the electrical RPM. Um, so for an example, if I want to limit my motor to 30,000 RPM and, and I'm not going to over spin it on the bench, um, I'm going to pick 60,000. So I've got the K there, so that's 1,000, so 60,000 RPM. That's going to give me a 30,000 RPM motor limit. So the motor RPM will be 30,000. I'll update that. Now if we go over to the bench, You'll see in my, um, my trigger, I'll pull this to 100% and it'll limit its RPMs. And hopefully you can kind of see in the radio. Uh, like that. So the radio isn't limiting it, the actual ESC is limiting it. So the radio, pull full trigger, 100%, the radio goes to 100%. Now if we look at the logs, and we get rid of some of the stuff that we don't really want to look at. So there's our ESC, uh, our radio input so the black line so it's ramped up it's gone to 100 percent and then there's my rpm so it's basically hovered at 60,000 rpm so that's electrical rpm if we want to read the data log uh, as a four pole we can then set it to four pole hit ok and then you'll see here now my rpm max was 30,000 so the radio is 100%, the ESC is controlling the, the limit, so the idea is if I want to add in a factor of safety, um, you know, I'd set this to 160,000 RPM, that means my motor will stop revving at 80,000. Um, at the moment, mostly I'm seeing is kind of 70,000 RPM on, on a run. So, you know, that's that's another 10,000 RPM I've got to up my sleeve, I can still rev to, but if something goes wrong, break an axle, um, shear a wheel, hex, or something like that, it'll catch it at 80 and, and won't overspin. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that.